Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I have a new book review for you and that is On Paper Towns by John Green. And I finished this last night and I had really, really high expectations for the book. And we will talk about that at the end of the review, but let's get started with the synopsis and what this book is all about. Our main character is Quentin Jacobson, also known as Q. We find out that he's been living next door to the great Margot Roth Spiegelman. He and Margot grew up together as kids and it's not until junior high high school that they start to drift apart not until one night in their senior year of high school that Margot climbs back into Q's life literally through his window to include him in this reign of vengeance on her enemies not until the next day that we find out Margot has gone missing this doesn't seem new to anyone else she's being Margot going on her Margot crazy adventures Q seems to think that Margot left clues for him to find out where she is. The closer he gets to trying to find her, Q starts realizing that Margot may not be the girl he used to know. So that's the overall synopsis plot of the book. Let's talk about the themes and messages in this book. Pretty much you get it in the title of the book, Paper Towns. That's the whole shebang right there. We find out there are three different meanings of what Paper Town means and I appreciated each meaning and how it connected to the characters and to the overall plot of the story. It was mind-blowing. It, it was, really. How we perceive others, how their ideas and the perceptions we have of people may not actually exist. There are a lot of metaphors in this book pertaining to that message, so I thought that aspect of the book was great. Let's talk about the plot of the book. I really enjoyed the beginning and I really enjoyed the end. The ending was crazy, I thought. The middle of the book I had some problems with. I did feel the middle was kind of dragging on kind of slow. We find out that Q is trying to find out where Margot is. It seems like Q is the only one in this mindset. His friends and his family seem to be going on about the regular daily life and their routine. And so the everyday happenings outside of the mystery of Margot Roth Spiegelman kind of seem to slow the plot down. It had its moments throughout the book, I will say that. There were really tense, intense moments in the book. I was holding my breath during a few scenes in the book where you just wanted to keep reading and turning the page to see what happens next. And so that was great. Let's talk about the characters. Let's start off with Q, Quentin Jacobson. We find out in the beginning of the book, Q flies on the straight and narrow. We find out his character develops and changes throughout the book. He starts to break out of his comfort zone. I did feel his development grew as a character for sure. I thought his determination to find Margot was admirable. I was in there with him trying to figure out who the true Margot was and find out where she could be. I thought also his determination to find Margot was also an obsessive behavior. He didn't understand how others weren't feeling the same urgency in finding Margot as he did. And I thought his character got annoyingly obsessive. Let's talk about Q's friends, Ben and Radar. Ben is obviously the comic relief in the book. He has great one-liners, he has great dialogue, he loves the honey bunnies, and I thought he was hilarious in the book. There's a lot of male humor in the book. It might not be for everyone. I thought it was pretty freaking hilarious though. And Radar, he I would say is the brains of the bunch. He's very smart. He has this obsession over the Omnictionary, and it's kind of like Wikipedia. Ben and Radar and Q's relationship with each other was great and I thought their relationship and friendship was realistic. They had the fights, they had the support between each other. Let's talk about Margot Roth Spiegelman. We find out she isn't physically in the book through most of the book and we find out Margot's character through other people's perceptions. I wasn't annoyed by her character at all. As I said, I wanted to know who the true Margot was, unraveling this mystery of the Margot character. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to give Paper Towns by John Green a readable rating. I did like it. Let's talk about the expectations I had for this book. And I'm disappointed to say those expectations weren't met, unfortunately. After reading two of John's other books, I feel like I know the kind of characters John writes and his writing style. You get the unique funny characters, the funny witty dialogue, the great meaningful messages. I feel that because I'm so familiar with his characters and his style that I was looking for something much 
much more. Maybe something I haven't encountered yet in one of John Green's books. That's kind of just my overall feeling for the book. I'll probably dive deep into that more in my in conclusion video. I did like the book though. Oh, as I read this book, I, I got the cover. Yes, the cover <laughs> makes sense. And I do appreciate this cover more after reading it. And I get it. That's the review, guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope you have an awesome weekend, and I will talk to you guys later.